Hola and welcome to Pro Spanish. In this video, you're going to see for yourself just how quickly you can learn Spanish. For our more advanced subscribers, you may want to skip forward to the time frame that comes up on the screen now or stick with us for some extra practice. If we want to say, I'm happy, I'm here, I'm in London, that I'm in Spanish is estoy, estoy. I am or I'm, estoy. What do you think it means if I say estoy en Madrid? What do you think that means? Estoy en Madrid. I'm in Madrid. Estoy en Madrid. I'm in Madrid. So we're just building up a foundation now before we get into the main content for all our phrases. And this is actually a key part of the Pro Spanish Levels 1 to 6 course because it really makes the language stick. What do you think it means if I say, no estoy en Madrid? No estoy en Madrid. Can you work out what that means? I'm not in Madrid. I'm not in Madrid. How do you think you would say, I'm in Manchester? Estoy en Manchester. Estoy en Manchester. And how would you say, I'm not in Spain? You probably know Spain is España. I'm not in Spain. No estoy en España. No estoy en España. I'm not in Spain. If we want to say studying, it's estudiando. Estudiando. Studying. And you can see that ing is the ando. So studying, estudiando, estudiando, studying. How would you say, I'm studying? What would that be? I'm studying. Estoy estudiando. Estoy estudiando. I'm studying. We could say, I'm studying. In Spain, what would that be? Estoy estudiando en España. Estoy estudiando en España. I'm studying in Spain. So we're just building up a bit at the moment. How would you say, I'm studying Spanish? You probably know that Spanish is español. I'm studying Spanish. What would that be? Estoy estudiando español. Estoy estudiando español. How about I'm not studying Spanish in Madrid? So quite a long sentence. What would that be? I'm not studying Spanish in Madrid. No estoy estudiando español en Madrid. No estoy estudiando español en Madrid. Let's try exploring, exploring, explorando, explorando. And how could we say, I'm exploring Let's say Santiago. What would that be? I'm exploring Santiago. And make sure you pause the video whenever you need to, to give yourself some thinking time before you hear the answer. Estoy explorando Santiago. Estoy explorando Santiago. And there are lots of things to explore. We could even be exploring the... Well, what's this? Estoy explorando la posibilidad. Estoy explorando la posibilidad. What am I exploring? I'm exploring the possibility. And we'll just take a quick pause there while I mention our very popular Levels 1 to 6 course. This takes the complete beginner or a near beginner right up to a conversational level of Spanish in a series of very easy to follow steps. All the lessons on this YouTube channel are supplementary, whereas the core levels one to six 
is very much a step-by-step -step program delivered by the same teacher as all the other videos on the Pro Spanish YouTube channel. And while the style is very similar to what you'll be used to from these videos on the channel, the key difference is that every lesson carefully builds on the previous lessons so that you can really feel that progress of going from very little or no Spanish up to a level where you can confidently hold a conversation in Spanish. So again, that's available exclusively from prospanish.co.uk. And now in this next phase, you'll see how we're going to massively expand on this foundation that we've just laid. So I'll start by introducing some language. Now you don't need to try to memorize any of this. Just follow the flow of the lesson. Well, relax and follow the flow of the lesson. Okay, so en Toledo. En Toledo, in Toledo. En Toledo. En casa. En casa, casa is house. En casa, at home. In house. At home, en casa. Fuera, fuera, a nice word. Outside. Fuera. You may want to eat outside. Comer fuera. So fuera, outside. And we'll take the next as a pair. Ocupado and preocupado. So it looks like occupied and preoccupied. But we might say, instead of occupied, we might say busy. Busy. Incidentally, if you remember what I am is, how would we say I'm busy? Estoy ocupado. Estoy ocupado. I'm busy. I'm occupied. And Preocupado, preocupado, preoccupied, or we'd say worried. So busy and worried. Next, again, is fairly guessable. Enfermo, a bit like infirm, is ill. Enfermo, enfermo, ill or unwell, sick. Then we have practicando español practicando español practicing spanish and finally hablando hablando speaking or it can be talking as well speaking and talking hablando okay let's go to our starting column First one is estoy. We know that. We know estoy is I am. Estoy. And under that is the past of I am. I was. Estaba. Estaba. How would you say? I was at home. So look at the first two columns. I was at home. What would that be? Estaba en casa. Estaba en casa. And how might you say, I was talking or I was speaking. What would that be? Estaba hablando. Estaba hablando. That's worth noting that in my Levels 1 to 6 course, we go to a much more relaxed step-by-step -step pace, using lots of techniques to make the language stick. But we're trying to squeeze a lot into this video because I want you to experience just how quickly you can learn Spanish with the right approach. So estaba hablando. I was talking. I was speaking. And then we have I have been or I've been. He estado. He estado. I've been. Now a lot of this kind of language isn't taught until quite later on in a Spanish course. But I'm showing you how you can do this from lesson one. So, he estado, I've been. How would you say, I've been ill? I've been infirm. What would that be? He estado enfermo. He estado enfermo. How about, I've been practicing Spanish. He estado Practicando 
español. He estado practicando español. Okay, let's have a look at the final column. Con Andrés. Con Andrés. With Andrés. Con is with. Like café con leche. Coffee with milk. Con ellos. With them. How would you say outside with Andrés? What would that be? Look at the final two columns. Outside with Andrés. Fuera con Andrés. Fuera con Andrés. Outside with Andrés. How would you say in Toledo with them? En Toledo con ellos. En Toledo con ellos. And then we have all day. A bit more literally, it's all the day. Todo el día. All the day. But we would say all day. Todo el día. All day. And this morning. Well, morning is mañana. This morning Esta mañana. Esta mañana. Incidentally and confusingly, mañana is also tomorrow. But esta mañana is this morning. And there's something that, well, I'm not actually going to add it to the table. We're going to keep it in our imagination. And in brackets, right at the beginning, is the word no. No. So, I am is estoy. No estoy, I'm not. How would you say, I wasn't? No estaba. How would you say, I haven't been? No he estado. I haven't been. Okay, so looking at those three columns, see if you can say, these sentences. How would you say, I'm outside with Andres. Estoy fuera con Andres. Estoy fuera con Andres. How would you say, I was in Toledo all day. Estaba en Toledo todo el día. Estaba en Toledo todo el día. How about, I wasn't busy this morning. No estaba ocupado, I wasn't occupied. No estaba ocupado esta mañana. No estaba ocupado esta mañana. How about, okay, let's do this one slightly differently. So I'm going to tell you the phrase. You can look at the table, but then the table's going to go away. So how would you say, I've been ill all day. I've been ill all day. And something to mention is that for ocupado, preocupado, and enfermo, so those adjectives that end in an O, if you're feminine, if you're a girl, a woman saying this, then you would change that to an A. So, ocupado becomes ocupada. Preocupado becomes preocupada. Enfermo becomes enferma. If you're a girl saying it, a woman saying it. So again, it's, I've been ill all day. Have a quick look. And now it's gone. How would you say, I've been ill all day? He estado enfermo todo el día. He estado enfermo todo el día. I've been ill all day. Okay, how would you say, I've been talking, I've been speaking with Andres. 
I've been speaking with Andres. What would that be? He estado hablando con Andres. He estado hablando con Andres. Let's try another disappearing one. How would you say, I was at home all day? What would that be? Try and work it out before it disappears. I was at home all day. Estaba en casa todo el día. Estaba en casa todo el día. And well, let's add a bit to that. Why don't we say, I was at home with, let's say instead of Andres, with Maria. I was at home with Maria all day. What would that be? Estaba en casa con María todo el día. Estaba en casa con María todo el día. And this is so versatile because we can layer on new language. Let's take, for example, you are, or the question are you. It's the same word, estás. So estás is you are or are you. Estás. How would you ask the question then? Are you worried? What would that be? Are you worried? Estás preocupado? Estás preocupado? Or, if you're talking to a girl or a woman, make sure it's feminine, preocupada. Estás preocupada? How about, estás practicando español? Con ellos? What would that mean? ¿Estás practicando español con ellos? Are you practicing Spanish with them? So again, this hasn't been as step by step as it would be in the main course, the Pro Spanish Levels 1 to 6 course, but you will have learned a lot and now you'll have an idea of just how quickly you can learn Spanish. And so again, just before we move on to the more advanced part of this video, another reminder that the Levels 1 to 6 course and our very popular all-in-one course are available exclusively from prospanish.co.uk. Okay, so let's get into the more advanced part of this episode. A few changes, but the, the kind of main column, the In Manchester at home, outside, busy. That column will stay the same. And then let's go to the first column. So, a menos que, a menos que is unless, a menos que. You can see the menos is less. So, a menos que, unless. And con tal de que, provided that, con tal de que. And these two conjunctions always trigger the subjunctive. And so we go to our middle column and we've got the same, the same verbs, the same present, I am, I was and I have been, but now in the subjunctive. So I am, the present, I am after a conjunction like a menos que or con tal de que is I am subjunctive. So este, este. I was subjunctive. Estuviera, estuviera. And I have been, or the been is the same, estado, but the I have is haya. Haya estado. So, este, estuviera, and haya estado. And the kind of convenient thing about this is, okay, it means I am, I was, and I have been. But this is exactly the same for the third person, for he, she, and it, if it were the case. So, this is also he or she is subjunctive. He or she was subjunctive. He or she has been subjunctive. So if I say, 
a menos que estuviera enfermo. Unless he was ill. Unless I was ill. Unless she was ill. And, of course, this would be part of a longer context, a um, uh, more of a sentence, but I'm keeping it short here so we can focus on the on the tricky bit, which is using the subjunctive with these triggers. So, what would it mean if I said, con tal de que haya estado practicando español? Con tal de que haya estado practicando Español. Provided that I've been practicing Spanish, she's been practicing Spanish, or he's been practicing Spanish. So, really advanced stuff, but when we break it down like this, it's actually quite easy. Okay, so how would you say, unless he's worried? Uh, let's just add a bit of context. So, we could say, um, it's okay unless he's worried. What would that be? Well, the it's okay. Let's just say, está bien. Está bien. It's okay. It's okay unless he's worried. Está bien a menos que esté preocupado. Está bien a menos que esté preocupado. And of course, there'd only be one letter to change if we were going to say, unless she's worried, what would that be? A menos que esté preocupada. So we just change the adjective ending. Okay, how would you say, provided that he was at home? Provided that he was at home, what would that be? Con tal de que estuviera en casa. Con tal de que estuviera en casa. How about, provided that he's been speaking Spanish. What would that be? And the context, we might have something like, I don't mind, I don't care, as long as, or provided that, he's been speaking Spanish. What would that be? So, no me importa. So, I don't mind, I don't care. No me importa con tal de que haya estado hablando español. No me importa con tal de que haya estado hablando español. How about, unless she's busy. Unless she's busy. And the context might be, she'll come later unless she's busy. So she'll come later. Vendrá más tarde. Vendrá más tarde. A menos que esté ocupada. A menos que esté ocupada. And we can very quickly change these to you. So we'll have I, he, she, and you. And all we do is, and if you don't know already, you'll be able to guess what the key letter is that we're going to add on. The key letter for you is the letter S. So you are subjunctive estes. You were estuvieras. You have been hayas estado. So how about as long as you have been practicing Spanish or provided that you have been practicing Spanish. It means the same thing. Con tal de que hayas estado practicando español. Con tal de que hayas estado practicando Español. What about unless you are ill? Unless you are ill. 
So make sure you come tomorrow unless you're ill. A menos que estés enfermo o enferma. A menos que estés enferma. How about provided that you were in Manchester? So it's not a problem provided you were in Manchester. What would that be? No hay ningún problema. There's no problem. Con tal de que estuvieras en Manchester. Con tal de que estuvieras en Manchester. And that concludes today's Pro Spanish lesson. As mentioned earlier, if you're looking to become a confident and a competent speaker of Spanish, head over to prospanish.co.uk where you can download the full Levels 1 to 6 course.